video today we're talking for the last time IS38 EA888 MQB platform the previous video we launched uh, in on the subject was about our 700 horsepower ball bearing GTX 3071 Gen 2 rotating assembly counter rotation inside of a brand new stainless steel turbine housing with revised AR and compressor housing with revised AR I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys to go and watch that video if you haven't already. Today we're talking about a little bit more of an affordable uh, option. With less horsepower, you'll make a reliable 580 to 600 horsepower at 2 to 2.2 bar boost all day long without suffering the previous thrust assembly failures as I've uh, communicated to you guys in previous videos. Um, check our YouTube channel for, for, for links and uh, all those videos where we actually explain what the cause of these thrust failures are on the IS-38 hybrid, build, hybrid builds. Um, today we're going to be introducing the journal bearing bolt-on, once again, completely redesigned AR turbine housing, stainless steel, investment cost, redesigned compressor housing with revised ARs, as well as the upgraded journal bearing system inside of an externally physical ex uh, identical bearing housing, However, completely redesigned and completely upgraded bearing system and rotating assembly. So inside of our bearing housing, you'll find a rotating assembly. This is not it, but it's based on a TDO6 turbine head. It's based on from the back of the turbine to the neck, to the shoulder, to the end of the thread on a TDO6 shaft. However, the bearings are slightly redesigned so that you can only get them from us. Um, and they are stronger and a little bit larger than what your normal TDO6 would be. The thrust bearing is completely redesigned and is our own design. Um, it is about 30% larger than the original IS-38 and it has additional thrust pads as compared to your uh, original Mitsubishi TDO6. The compressor wheel that we use is our own design as well. Most commonly you'd find a 52 to 53 millimeter inducer in most of the upgraded hybrids out there. Ours ranges up to 56 mil, depending on whether we use a five, six or seven blade uh, compressor. These specific ones here are six blade. Um, they are installed and balanced and obviously designed and, and assembled here at Turbo Direct. And uh, we supply these comp complete with an entire mounting kit, which you'll see photos of just now, um, as well as your gaskets, O-rings, studs, as well as these are stainless steel studs with copper nuts, which are the correct fixing hardware with an MLS multi-layer steel gasket for the uh, um, exhaust inlet. And as I said, stainless steel turbine housing, revised AR, revised AR on the compressor housing as well, muffler delete, complete bolt-on package. All you need to do is supply your diverter valve and your axial wastegate or electronic wastegate or electronic actuator from your existing IS-38. You bolt those onto uh, this specific turbo, use VCDS, or if you've got access to a, di a diagnostic tool, you can actually go and do the calibration to uh, um, allow your, your uh, um, engine lights and all those errors that you might have from the re installation of the transfer of your uh, electronic actuator to be cleared up and obviously you'll be able to start the car and start tuning. You can get a reliable 600 horsepower out of these turbochargers at 2 to 2.2 bar boost which is where they are rated to make that kind of power. Obviously you need supporting hardware. So a decent intercooler, try stay away from the twin cooler setup, there's a specific reason for that, another video which we'll, which we'll cover soon. Um, get yourself a nice efficient intercooler with a very low pressure drop. Um, obviously down pipe and exhaust, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump and a few other things as well. Um, if you want to start pushing the boundaries to the 600 horsepower mark, you're going to need to upgrade the plastic air intake manifold uh, to something that can flow a little bit more. You can use velocity stacks and you know, contact us via email and we'll be able to give you some advice as to how high the velocity stacks need to be in terms of the two uh, middle cylinders and the two outer cylinder cylinder uh, one and four, two and three. We'll give you guys uh, a little bit of guidance on that. Um, but yeah, that is basically what we have fixed all of the shortcomings on these IS-38 hybrids that have been failing. Um, this is a reliable setup. We brought it to the market now. I hope you guys like it. 
you, can go, you guys can start seeing some close-ups now. But uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and give us some comments so we know what you guys are thinking. And if you have any questions, any comparisons you'd like us to do, let us know. Next video on the uh, installation of both the ball bearing and the journal bearing replacements, as well as some tuning videos and some dynographs. I know you guys have all been waiting for that. They're coming soon. Be patient. We'll be with you guys soon. See you next time.